Hey, what's going on everyone? Super excited to be with you today. Today, I, I wanted to talk to you about a real concern. I, uh, I was on the phone yesterday. If you remember our devotional yesterday, we talked about simply calling a friend and encouraging one another in faith and, and lifting one another up. And so I called a friend and uh, I had a, a conversation with him, just asking him questions about how his life is going. What's it like being uh, at home? How's he doing? And how's the family doing? Is everyone healthy? And we ended up eventually talking about work. And as you know, in this state, a lot of people are trapped at home. A lot of businesses are, are, are changing or having to adapt the way that they function. Even local businesses, uh, even places like to eat, you can't dine in anymore. So what does that mean for jobs and everything? And so he was sharing with me a little bit about his job situation and how um, a few days prior that his supervisor got released from the job. Um, that the company was looking at the entirety of the budget and said we couldn't afford to keep someone who's very important on this team. And so he was talking to me and had a little bit of uh, worry or concern about, you know, his job security and, and the way that he was going to be able to walk out, um, you know, providing for his family and for his home. This is a legitimate concern and businesses all over the world right now, all over our nation are, are trying to discover how to navigate through these tough times and how to get through uh, all of these situations. And I think one of the big things that we can experience is worry. Like finances, um, finances are a big weight on our shoulders. They are a, a big concern in our lives. And, you know, I, I feel that that's even greater in this season right now, that the, the financial weight or the financial burden that we all have is even magnified in this time together. And so um, I wanted to share a scripture that inspired me and, and kind of um, after our conversation, I, I went to the word of God and, you know, I was reminded of the fact that God says to not worry. What a crazy thing. God, you're telling me not to worry in this season. The whole world is in panic. Everyone's freaking out. Jobs are closing. Businesses are shutting down. Like, you're telling me not to worry. Yeah. Jesus, the creator of the universe, the, the savior of our lives is telling you not to worry. I want to share this with you uh, in Luke chapter 12. Um, and this is verse 22 uh, to 31. Okay, so let me share this with you. Just follow along with me as I read. Um, it says this. Then Jesus said to his disciples, therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or about your body, what you will wear. Life is more than food and more than clothes. Consider the ravens, consider the birds. They do not sow or reap. They have no storeroom or barn and yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable are you? How much more valuable to God are we? He would give his life for us. How much more valuable are we than the birds? Who of you, this is such a challenge for me today, who of you by worrying can add, in single, add a single hour to his or her life? Since you cannot do this very little thing, why worry about the rest? It goes on, I love that, why worry, why worry? It says this, consider how the lilies grow, they do not labor or spin, yet I tell you not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, if that's how he clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, how much more will he clothe you? O oh, you of little faith. That's a challenge from Christ, right? And do not set your heart on what you will eat or drink. Do not worry about it. And it says this in verse 31, and I wanted to share this with you today, but seek his kingdom and all these things will be given to you as well. The only effort that we have, the only thing that we can do, and yes, we can be wise with our finances, we can save, maybe we can reduce a little bit of spending, we can be wise in our end, but we need to prioritize seeking God, seeking his word, seeking what he says about our situation, being uh, consistent in our faith life, seeking him out. Worry, as according to Christ himself, it says it does not add a single hour to your life. And so I wanted to encourage you today, whatever season you're facing, whatever worries you may have, because we all have them, whatever you have, seek Christ and watch those worries fall away. We're going to be wise. We're going to make it through. God's going to bless us. We are going to come out stronger in the upcoming season. But let us not worry in this season. Seek him with everything you've got. 
I hope this encourages you today. I hope that, um, you know, the worry that you have, I pray that you can cast all your anxieties on him today. Be blessed.